So, welcome to the AMG GTS, one of the most exciting cars of this year. This is the first time we've driven it in the UK, and I thought we'd do a very quick sort of roundup of just a few of the things, our first impressions of the car. We're going to do, I'm sure, lots with this during the year, so we'll do road trips and all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, I thought you'd like to know what our first impressions are, really. This, as I say, it's the S model, so it's the one up, so we've got 503 brake horsepower, 479 pounds foot of torque. The first thing to say, I suppose, is the interior. It is absolutely lovely. We've sometimes criticised uh, Mercedes in the past, sometimes felt that sort of the, the AMG models perhaps aren't quite sort of special enough compared to sort of the you know, run-of-the-mill A series. You know, they get just as much in that as you do in one of these. But this, this, this is really lovely. It's um, this whole centre console here, sort of in the shape of a knacker duct, if you look at it in a certain sort of fashion, uh, is really, it's quite a sort of a bold piece of architecture in the front and it really reminds you of the fact that the engine is an awfully long way back up underneath this dashboard and there's really not a lot actually underneath that bonnet it seems at times when you look underneath it. Um, apart from of course the cooling because it's got that hot V and it looks all very cool. Anyway. So there we go. Anyway, let's go for a drive on track. Start button, this little stubby gear lever. Got the seven speed DCT box and the paddles up here and yeah various modes but we'll go through those in a second roll out of the pit lane. So we're in comfort at the moment. And this has got the Dynamic Plus package. So you get race. And one of the first things to mention is just how good this car sounds. You've got a switchable sports exhaust. And even in its quieter mode, it sounds really wonderfully guttural, rumbly, certainly don't miss any natural aspiration there, put this into manual mode. The other things that the Dynamic Plus package has is firmer suspension and dynamic engine and transmission mounts and it really does feel a very, very focused car. There's an awful lot of the old SLS Black Series about this car, the way that it's changed its direction so flat and feels like it's got a huge amount of lateral grip. The steering on the road feels extremely light, obviously that doesn't really matter so much on the track, but the front end just tacks into corners absolutely staggeringly, it just seems to flick in. Turn all the traction control off. A bit of fun. The gearbox still perhaps a little slow on down changes, but brilliant on up changes. This being the GTS, it's got the electronically controlled limited slip diff. And it does make the transition from grip to slip really very smooth actually, it's really nice. Oh, it's so fast. I think for anyone that thinks that an AMG is just going to be a bit of a sort of, I don't know, we get used to the big saloons and that sort of thing, but this is such a sophisticated, such a, it feels like such a race car to be honest, sort of so stiff in terms of its chassis and suspension setup. And beautifully sort of beautifully light it weighs 1600 kilos this car but feels really much lighter than that I'd say this has also got the carbon ceramic brakes which are a 6,000 pound option but given how fast this thing is in a straight line 0 to 62 miles an hour is 3.8 seconds top speed 194 miles an hour I'd say carbon ceramics really are quite a good Option to have. What a fun car. It's a silly car really, but huge amounts of fun. So obviously, as we're at the track, we're gonna set a lap time in this car. But we're gonna save that for another video. Because we've also got one of its deadliest rivals. 911 turbo waiting in the pit lane. So if you tune back into Evo's YouTube channel, 
next week. Do something going slightly less sideways, probably. But setting a lap time, we'll find out which of these cars is faster around a lap.